Is it just me or do you ever look around at all the different YouTube channels? There's so many of them. But after a while, you start to realize that they're just a clone of one another and they're all saying the same things, covering the same topics. And yeah, it's just kind of interesting. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, typically what I try to do is take different topics going on in the YouTube community. And I'm a huge believer that we can always learn something from the content that we're consuming. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at The Rewired Soul. All right, so before I jump into Amelia Fart, the one and only amazing Amelia Fart, I gotta give you a little story time. So, uh, this might be the last video that I do today. I might do one more, I'm not sure. It's been an interesting day, right? So, I had a couple different titles for this video that I was playing around with. Um, one of the titles I was gonna make was uh, Analyzing My Son. And then I was like, no, 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 no. Let's do Analyzing the Rewired Soul. I thought that would be interesting. And then I started to think about where this video is gonna go and the main point of this video is I wanna, I wanna discuss, you know, pretty much the idea that anybody who's done anything amazing or noteworthy, they, they took a risk. They didn't conform to the popular ideas and just blend in with the crowd. They did something different, right? And I was thinking about it you know, and I was gonna use examples like uh, Martin Luther King, right? You know what a crazy idea was? Having black kids and white kids go to the same school and having equal rights and everything like that. That was crazy. Then I could just imagine people in the comment section like, are you comparing yourself to Martin Luther King? And then I was gonna be like, well, you know, there's people like the Wright brothers. People thought those dudes were insane trying to fly and defy gravity. And I can imagine people in the comment section be like, oh my God, this guy's really comparing himself to the Wright brothers. And then I was like, you know what? Maybe it's safer to talk about Amelia Fart. All right, <laughs> maybe if I do that, and I can't even compare myself to Amelia Fart because there is only one Amelia Fart. But again, the idea of this video is, is doing something different, like, and that's something that I respect the hell out of Amelia Fart for. And you know, um, I, I, watch, I watch her stuff when I can, and I love how she talks about mental health, but like, no matter what, at the end of the day, uh, the thing that I respect the hell out of is she does her own thing, and it's different, and it stands out, right? Like, no matter what your opinion is of her, it's different, you know what I mean? And I think that's something that's inspirational. Like, I, I can only imagine how many people she inspires. Just like, look, do your thing, be different. And she opens up and gets vulnerable and talks about the struggles of being different and all that kind of stuff. But what I'm, what I'm getting at is, you know, originally when I talked about those original titles for this video, I was thinking about it like, cause half of you might think I'm having a mental breakdown or something like that today. But um, something that guides me, like there's a method to my madness. And something that guides me is I often think, what would I tell my son? What advice would I give my son in these situations. So those of you who've been watching my videos today, uh, you know I've been like just kind of analyzing things and opening up and discussing things that I already wrote about in my book, some other things I haven't and everything like that. But something that I try to pass down to my son is something that my dad always said to me since I was a kid. And he, he always said to me, be a leader, not a follower, right? My dad always instilled in me, like you lead, all right? Don't just follow what everybody else is doing. Like you, you do what you think will make this world a better place, right? And that's, you know, what I wanna teach my son as well. Like, do I want my son to be a follower or a leader? Like I was saying, like, I love Amelia Fart because she's doing something different. Like most of you guys watching this, 
you know, how many drama channels are you subscribed to? How many commentary channels are you subscribed to? Like, what is really different about them? Aside from like, maybe a joke here or there, they, a lot of them have the same opinions and talk about the same angles of stories and everything like that. But Amelia Fart is doing something different, right? And that inspires me. Like when I think about my content and like doing something different and what I would tell my son, like, for example, when I did my apology videos, I did something that is not the norm of what people do when they make apology videos. People make one apology video and no matter how you make them, the community will rip it apart. But I did four separate apology videos and everybody's like, oh my God, is this man insane? And I'm sitting there, I'm like, why? Why, just because it's not what you're used to seeing, right? Like I'm half black and half white. People weren't used to seeing a black dude with a white woman, all right? And some of you have been watching my content today and you're like, oh my God, this is, this is abnormal. This guy has uploaded like six or seven videos today. That is, that is not normal. But again, like, what would I tell my son if my son got the idea to do something like this? What would I say to him? What would I talk to him about? I'd be like, why do you want to do this? What are your motives behind doing this, right? Do you think it might help anybody? Do you think it might inspire somebody? You know what I mean? And if the, the answers were right, I'd be like, then who cares what people think if you're doing something different? Like, do something different. Try to do something that hasn't been done before. And I encourage you, the viewer, to do this too. Like, one of the reasons I've had so many amazing life experiences is because I'm constantly trying to think outside of the box. I'm trying to look at things from different angles. I'm trying to see what maybe other people are seeing. Like, what are we missing right here? What could we do differently? The first time that that really benefited me was when I was about 18, 19 years old, and I started to travel the world as an, uh, a writer for eSports, right? Because I was doing something different. But here's the thing, if you wanna do something different, if you wanna do something amazing, you gotta take risks, right? Like, because some of the risks we take, we are gonna fall flat on our face, right? But that can't deter us from taking risks. Like. What else do I teach my son, right? Is there's no such thing as losses. All there is, is learning experiences. That's it, you know what I mean? And, you know, I imagine if my son ever went through what I went through with being canceled this year, and what would I tell him? You know what I would tell him? I would tell him, don't let people who don't know you tell you who you are. All right, other people are, you know, able to have their opinions of you, but it doesn't mean that they're right because only you know your true intentions. Only you know your true motives. You are the person who has to go to sleep with you tonight. You know what I mean? And that's something that I try to teach my son because trust me, he's 10 years old. He deals with little, you know, bullies and weird stuff like that. Or even circling back to Amelia Fart, like people say all sorts of weird things about Amelia Fart, but you know, she, she knows who she is. And one of the most difficult parts of the, the drama channels coming after me, the commentary channels coming after me, the online hate mob coming after me, is they were trying to tell me who I was, right? And it really messed me up for a while. They were saying, oh, all you care about is money. You don't really care about anybody. You're, you're being dangerous and all these other things. And I'm like, whoa, like, who am I? Am I, am I just this different person? Am I not who I thought I was? And it's taken me months to get back to where I am. And again, this is something that I wanna instill my, uh, in my son, something I wanna instill in all of you as well. Don't let people tell you who you are. And if my son goes through what I've been through and friends or people he considered friends abandon him, 
Would I tell him to just give up or would I tell him to push forward? Would I tell him that these are awful, terrible people or would I tell him to empathize with them, forgive them, you know? Some of these people are just doing what's in their best interest and we gotta forgive them for that. Not everybody is gonna be the same type of friend that we're going to be, but that doesn't mean that you give up, all right? Like even if everybody's telling you no, you know what I mean? Like stand up for what you believe in and do your thing. Like there are so many things that have happened throughout history where people are like, oh, this is dangerous, right? Like people thought that the printing press was gonna be dangerous, you know what I mean? Still to this day, you have people saying, oh my God, smartphones are, are killing, you know, our ability to be social and they're gonna destroy the world, right? Like people freak out when you try to do something new and different. But I just want you to sit back and think about this. I'll end the video with this. I want you to imagine every great thing that's ever happened, right? From Amelia Fart to the Wright brothers to Martin Luther King to even like the electricity that you have. Think about all those people and think about if they gave up just because some people disagreed with them, just because people told them that you can't do this. Imagine where our world would be if all of those people just quit because people didn't like what they were doing or agreed with what they're doing, all right? I just want you to sit back and think about that for a little bit. But anyways, like I said, my rule of thumb when I'm coming up with ideas and doing things, when I wanna give up, when I don't wanna do things or when I'm inspired to do something, I use my son as this kind of guiding compass and I'm like, what would I tell him to do in this situation. And even if you don't have a child, maybe you can figure out your person. Maybe it's just a friend or a family member. What would you tell that person in that situation, right? Would you tell them to be a leader or a follower? Would you tell them to be afraid and give up, right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel over on Patreon, as well as everybody who supports the channel buying merch and books and all that kind of good stuff. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.